Before I close this thing up, I thought I would show it off and explain the circuits just a little bit. So there's a whole hell of a lot of stuff going on here. Um, these knobs starve the motherboard of this alphabet guy of a uh, good voltage and a good ground. That sounds awesome. It's got MIDI support. This is a dip switch for selecting MIDI. This is MIDI in. This is a USB for powering it and also flashing the Arduino which is inside the data connections are on there. This is line output. This is volume for the line output. Uh, this is just for fun. You squeeze this, changes pitch. These switches uh, munge up the logic to the keyboard matrix so it can get a loop going and play some phantom keys. This is a volume for the speaker. Now, something important. Notice that this uh, volume pot, there's, there's two, right? So you can control the output, but the speaker is actually really important to the way this thing sounds. Uh, when you're starving it of a good ground and you're starving it of voltage and doing all that stuff, the motherboard trying to push, uh, you know, voltage through the speaker with op amps and amplifiers and other stuff, it just really drags down and it sounds great. Uh, if this speaker was off because you had the line out running, which is common in a lot of uh, consumer electronics, then that uh, effect, uh, you could call it, kind of goes away. So this switch right here actually turns the speaker on and off. Um, this guy right here changes pitch. I forget what this does. It does something weird. Uh, this also does something weird. It kind of like forces voltage into the speaker in a certain way. I don't really understand it. It is circuit bending um, and makes a real kind of crunchy gritty sound. So let's flip this over and take a look at what the hell this looks like. There's a whole hell of a lot going on in here. So I started off um, taking these ribbon cables and breaking them out into kind of like a poor man's header per se, which I decided, whatever, I don't want to use connections, I just want to build this thing fast and I just soldered wires to it anyway. So I got that one, I got that one, I ended up gluing this on here because I was messing with the ribbon cable so much, I think it starts to break. But it sounds good here, so I just glued it, yep, it is a bender, who cares. This is probably sticking out to you. Um, I can't show you this board because it's hot glued on, but I designed this board to um, do the keyboard presses. That's what the MIDI is for. So um, as you saw on the other side, here's the USB port going into here. It just plugs right in. And here is the MIDI right here. That's going into this uh, optocoupler and running into the serial port here. Because really, MIDI is actually just serial connections, if you didn't know that. It's really simple. Since this thing has a serial input, it's a natural fit for MIDI. Um, these uh, transistors are just hosting simple glue logic. Uh, it kind of directs voltage going through the keyboard matrix so that it can pretend to press keys. And in reverse engineering the keyboard matrix, I found that there were eight rows and four columns. So it would like scan, 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 you know. Um, so um, depending on what note you select, one of these um, turn on and one of these turn on, and then it links different connections on here to press those keys. Uh, it's illustrated, where do I have my paper? Somewhere around here. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, so this is the matrix. I won't go into too much detail, but here's the four, uh, I guess, columns, rows. Doesn't really matter. And these are the other keys. Uh, yeah, so this is me reverse engineering this thing. Uh, yeah, all right. So we can talk about stuff. Here's the pots for starving all that stuff. Um, there's circuits. I mean, I could talk about it, but, you know, if you have an idea for electronics, you probably know what that is. Um, oh, this capacitor I just had lying around. It's kind of a interesting axial cap. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Now that I flipped this thing over, it looks way more exciting than it is to talk about it. So that's what the board does. <laughs> yeah, it's got MIDI. It's all connected all hokey. Um, I also had to get rid of the battery box. 
kind of wanted it to run on batteries, but this thing runs on 5 volts now anyway, so I wasn't too hurt. Although it'd be kind of cool to have it like a rechargeable thing or whatever, then you could actually jam on it because the keyboard is still functional. So that's my circuit bender. It sounds really cool. <laughs> I will be making lots of videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.